Hi everyone, welcome to The Restaurant Show. We are gonna start off today right. We're gonna actually start out with somebody new um, to the island and actually, but at a long time establishment. Um, this is the executive chef, Tim Nelson, of The Porch Southern Kitchen and Bar at The Beach House, which is right there off Caligny Circle, right? Yes, it is. Um, and it, it, it is attached and is actually the same venue as the Tiki Hut. Correct. And that's, but you supply everything for all those now, yeah, right? Yeah, we do the food for everything. You know, we have the porch it. going, we have the shack going, we have the smoker up and running, you know. The smoker, I know. I've been hearing about how great that fire pit and everything is out yeah, there. It's yeah. awesome. Thank so you. you're you're going to show us um, some of the inspirational food that makes it that Southern Kitchen and Bar, correct, right? Correct, correct. So uh, we're going to start with a... Uh, Country ham biscuits, which Yum. is a very big southern thing. Very Country big. ham is, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's not the typical ham. It's very salty. Yes. It's absolutely delicious. A very typical um, dish made with country ham is red eye gravy. Yes. You know, you sear off gravy. your, yep. you sear your ham. You throw coffee in there. See, I like all the fat on there, though. Uh, I think it's the best part. <laughs> You know, I refuse to cut it off. Chef's wearing a bacon pin, and as soon as he walks in, I'm like, I like your pin. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be something that you actually have at the restaurant, um, at the porch. Now this is available when? We start serving this at 11 a.m. and gotcha. it stops. We do late night food, so it stops right around 10, 11 o'clock. Right, you know, right. it really just depends on seasonality. Depending on season, everything. Now this is again, you. You know, for those of you who remember, this is not what you're going to walk in and you're going to like, where am I at? This yeah, is, this isn't a holiday inn. No, this is completely, um, it's just been completely renovated. Yes, we and just a finished whole, a renovation on it. And a whole it. new it's concept behind it. Brand new concept, brand new restaurant, you know, brand um, new staff. We have, you know, our Tiki Hut staff is the same people you guys have known for exactly, 40 years. Exactly, and I've known a lot of them. You know, but, it's a brand um, new restaurant. But the food is oh, thank completely you. different, thank guys. You. It's completely different. And, um, and being a... Uh, pork connoisseur, I guess you could say, in the business that we're in. Mm -hmm. Everyone is telling me about how great you guys are. So well, I'm so you. excited thank to learn you. about what you're going to make. So we're going to take this, just a little bit of oil. Okay. Throw it in a really hot pan. Get that thing nice and ripping hot. Um, and these and biscuits you you make at the, yes, at the porch. Okay. Everything in house, we make from scratch. Wonderful. We don't play. I love it. Which um, we're going to learn a little bit about too <laughs> with some of the dredging. Yeah. So, he said, we um, don't play like that. Yeah. So these are, uh, you can kind of see in there, they're uh, yeah. nice uh, cheddar and chai biscuits. Yeah, I love um, it. I love the color in it. made from scratch. You know, they're yeah, those absolutely look delicious. delicious. So we're just going to take these, throw them in a really hot pan. And now, um, is this, uh, these are sliders. They so are. are. How many, so how many, like, there's three to an order. Oh, wow. So I mean. So I would have to share then? Not necessarily. I think this <laughs> with like a nice tall beer or yeah. a great cocktail. Because you guys have a perfect. lot. You've really even redeveloped the cocktails there, the, the whole bar program. We really have. You know, it's a very craft bar program. Yeah, um, I love it. You know, our liquor selection has gone through the roof. The bitters we're using are crazy. Love it. Um, we actually just picked up a new, um, Root beer liqueur that's actually distilled from roots. I love it. It's I mean, just a whole amazing. different um, angle now, and a whole different. It's a lot of different inspiration. Oh yeah, well, and you know, you look at southern food. Southern food's the hottest thing in the nation right it now. Is. It is. And lucky enough, where we're located. Yeah. You can't beat it. No, you can't. I and mean, you get such. And you guys use a lot of local suppliers, which I know is really important to y'all. It's one of my biggest things. You know, I've found. You know, growing up on the West Coast, we've had grits, we've had polenta, right. and it all is sourced from this area. Right, um, isn't that crazy? Now I you're found, like <laughs> it's wild to me. I mean, I found this guy, uh, this is a yeah. Hichi Boy Mills. Um, okay. It's out of Adesto Island, and this guy really, really cares about what he's doing. I love you know, it's, it. And this is something six, we're going to. generation farming. Oh my gosh. So it's really, it, they really take pride in what they do yes. and their family has. And that's something we're going to talk about here, which we're going to bring up. Um, we're gonna get some other, we have one more dish that we're gonna do too, so we're gonna start plating this one. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, really important on where you're sourcing things from. It's, you know, the source on me is like the biggest part. Yeah. Um, you know, we're gonna go through and show you guys some catfish in a little bit that's coming down from the upstate. But I love it's it. absolutely delicious. Now, you know. as far as, again, so this is something that you offer from 11 a.m. on. Correct. Um, and then now the next dish, and if you wanna give me that plate, I'll start helping you plate Perfect. up so we can not start on the other one. Um, so what, so what we're doing here, is we're gonna take the biscuits and this one, we'll just put right there. Right My now. favorite oh, thing so with good. these is getting a really mm. hard sear. You know, you get it back in that fat yes. and it brings all the flavors out. I love out. it. I'm gonna put that one in there next to you. All right, cool. And so along with this, we've got uh, a little red eye aioli that we've made, which Perfect. is um, powdered coffee. Um, oh, how cool. Apple cider vinegar, yeah. a little bit of egg, some mustard, and then we emulsify it with olive oil. This is great. And uh, again, you guys, this is a totally different flavor profile and concept than the typical hamburgers and hot dogs that you would 
you know, think on a beach wise. Exactly. This is beach casual, wonderful dining and an experience um, that really you can only get on that south end of the island. It really is. <laughs> Not yeah. many places that you can get on there, that's oh. for sure. No. All right, so we're going to put so that So we got a little there. country Love ham it. on there, a little bit of our aioli. If you guys could smell, you could smell the ham and the, um, uh, the cheesy butteriness of the I biscuits. Love I love it. All right. You know, this is one of my favorite things in the world, and we always throw a little bit of fresh arugula on there. Uh, it just kind of, can add some pepper yeah, to it. Yeah, it, it balances helps cut that. the fat. Love it. I don't want to cut the fat. <laughs> <laughs> and so now tell me, Chef. Um, here, we'll put this over, and I'll give it a Perfect. spin as you're getting. We'll probably plate, just do a quick plate up on that um, catfish. Yep. But mm -hmm. um, tell me, though, real quick, are they? Are you allowed to eat there, even if you're not staying at the hotel? Yes, we are completely open to the public. You know, I love it. That's one of my biggest things. Is everybody that's on this island that comes to this island, come see us. Yeah. You know, I if don't discriminate. If you're at the Tiki Hut, fun. if you're at the Tiki Hut having a drink, and you're or you're down at Caligny shopping around exactly. or whatnot, definitely come on by because they are open to the public. Because I think some people think, oh, well, I'm not staying there, so I don't know if I'm allowed to eat there. To me. Walk right in. Right? You live on this island, you're staying on this island, come down and have some fun with us. And um, do you recommend reservations? Do you take reservations? We do. We have open table. Um, you know, you don't have to have them, but okay. it's, you know, if you're going but in on a Friday night. You can get in on open table and do that. And now as far as, um, I know we're going to plate this up and we might not be able to finish, so I do want to get some uh, real quick information. As far as the outdoor indoor dining, yes, it's, it's we're ready to rock and roll, so if you are enjoying a day at the beach, you are more than welcome to come up. <laughs> come, come hang out of the fire pit. Yes, exactly. So please check them out. Again, hours of operation, they are open at 11 a.m. every day. Correct. And then, so if you're taking a walk on the beach, stop on by. Come out, hang out. We've got a... Uh... Oyster roast going on starting Sunday through Wednesdays. Perfect. Sunday through Wednesdays, great time to check them out. Come see them at the Porch Southern Kitchen at Bar at the Beach House on Caligny Circle.